day four arrived, we woke up super early to go fishing on Sebago Lake. I don't know what it is about fishermen, whether it's salt water or fresh water, you gotta get up super early, but I really didn't mind. The fog coming up off of Sebago Lake was gorgeous. So we headed over to the marina and met Captain Tom Roth. He lives on the lake, he knows the history, and most importantly, where to catch the fish. And we're on Maine's deepest, Right. Maine's deepest lake. At the highest water level, it's 316 feet. Glaciers went through and carved it out. There's some rivers that come into it, but it's primarily spring-fed. Evaporates a million gallons a day in the summer. Back when the oceans became lakes, landlocked salmon was an Atlantic salmon that got stuck here, and they adapted over time to live in fresh water. I've never really fished this type of scenario. He had the planer boards out on each side. He had the downriggers all the way at the bottom. He had his boat following the contours. It was a really fascinating scenario to, to fish for lake trout and landlocked salmon. There you go. Steady Come pressure. On, McCabe. Steady pressure. Fish on. Get that bottom thing out of the way. You feel him? It's a ski trout. <laughs> <laughs> you might have the record for the littlest fish I've ever had on this boat. <laughs> But your fish dance moves need to improve. He's there got you a go. bridge! Woohoo! That's bait He's almost. The luckiest you got a salmon. <gasps> you got a salmon. Look at it. Yep, that's two shorts. We gotta get it back in the water. Some of these salmon are the same genetic strain as the ones that were originally there. These have been here since the glaciers. Oh my gosh, that's a salmon. That's a salmon. That's crazy that deep. Look at that. Beautiful landlocked salmon. Quick measure of them. Right uh -huh. here, as I always tell the biologist, 13, so we gotta let him go. So, right I'm there. gonna release him as soon as you're ready. My first Sebago Lake salmon. He's a small guy, so let's Great let job. him go. But he's fat, so he's healthy. Yeah, he's healthy. Great right. job. All right, you wanna let him go right here? Let me, uh, yeah, spend some time in the water with him, get it through his gills. Okay. Great job. Come on, big guy. Come on. Oh, there he goes. Took a breath. Come on, big guy. Come Let on. that water run through Here the field. Nice job. Yeah, give me some of the fish slime. A little fish slime for nice you. Nice job, a nice you. job. <laughs> Tom is a wealth of knowledge. And what I really liked to hear him say was, all the guides there on the lake really share the information back and forth and they help each other. So anybody can come and do this. Okay, oh, fish, fish on, oh. fish on, Ooh, fish right on. There. Just came up as we, it's right there. <laughs> yeah. Just followed us up and hit. I'm sorry. The lake trout, no? Yep. Oh, that's yeah, a nice one, too. Nice Patrice one. Gets a lake trout. Nice one. Nice! That's a nice one. We caught both species that he said we would catch. We caught the trout, we caught the salmon. <gasps> He's gorgeous. Give him a kiss. <laughs> Always got to kiss your first lake trout. <laughs> He's cold. He's yeah, slimy, he too. Okay, yeah. anything special? Yep, yeah, just get him in the water. Give him the old boga. Oh, he's Got gonna it. go. He's he's lively. There he goes. Can, Boom. I, get, can I get a nice high five? Nice job. <laughs> Absolutely. <laughs> yeah. Woo. It was another wonderful day. We did the mountains. Now we were doing the lakes today. So I enjoyed it. You didn't want to take any fish home, but you can't go home empty-handed. You need something to remember you from Sebago Lake. So I've got a copy of my book, A Sporting Year in Maine, for you to enjoy. I hope you read it and make some more memories. I'm gonna read it. I hope you signed it. Of course I did. Thank All you right. so much. Thank you so much. Thank you. It was a great day. What was your favorite part about Maine? For me, it was Pleasant Mountain, the Ledges Trail. Southern Maine's highest mountain at 2,006 feet. What a view. If you come here, you got to try it. I agree. I love the Ledges Trail. I love a challenging hike. But I'm going to say Pie Tree Orchard. You cannot beat walking through this beautiful orchard, picking apples right off the tree and eating them. Gosh, what a wonderful day. Coming home and camp night, cooking for you. I mean, Maine's got it going on.